Jude Wafe and praise you hey Wafe Bait Noon Sophie Yud Hey Waf Hey and welcome royal family to our power of ten where we use the ten step study scale for our daily Bible scriptural reading. Praise you hey Waf Hey. I am Queen Vashti Atara Yisrael Bath Yahweh and I will be facilitating and actually presenting this Bible study class today. Today is the sixth day of the month of Abib, our first month in our holy Hebrew sacred solar year of 6024 FC, which means from creation. And so since it's our sixth day, we know at sundown this evening is the seventh day. So at sundown this evening, we will be entering into the seventh day and we'll have our Shabbat class at eight o'clock in the evening, this evening at sundown. All right, Royal Family, um, those of you that will be interested in joining us for Shabbat class will need to go on and email us at www.yahweh144000.com to get the information on how to join us. All right, Royal Family. And that's for any Shabbat. If you want to join us, you just you know email us. Let us know. All right. We're in 6024. We're not in 2000. 21. Just wanted to let you all know that. And today is, you know what? I don't even know on the Gregorian calendar what day it is because I'm on the solar calendar. Uh, one of the Hebrew um, fam royal family members on the line, what day is it on the Gregorian calendar? Because I don't keep up with that very well. Does anybody know? Good God, I don't even know what day it is today. Okay. Monday. Anybody else know? <laughs> Well, we know it's Monday. <laughs> we know it's Monday, so we know it's... Only because I have to work. <laughs> oh, what day is it, Queen? Uh, it is Monday. It is Monday, yeah. But what day in their month on the, Gregorian, on the Gregorian calendar, what day is it? March what? It's a, oh, the 15th. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So those of you listening in, it's March the 15th on the Gregorian calendar. So at sundown on this day, if you're, if you're listening in today, it's sundown. It is Monday. It is our... It will be a bib seven for us. It'll still be March the 15th on the Gregorian calendar because we, um, our day begins at <clears throat> sundown. So this is Monday. It's March the 15th on the Gregorian calendar. It's a bib six for us right now, but at sundown, it will be a bib seven. I hope that clarifies it for us, for you all, for Royal Family that are listening in. All right, Royal Family, we are going to begin, and we're going to begin this with prayer. I'm going to, uh, we always want to ask our Father, Yudhe Wafe, for guidance as we go through our Bible study class. We always want to ask him for guidance as we move through the day, and we want guidance in all that we do as we serve our Father in righteousness. We want his guidance, so we begin with prayer. So I'm going to ask King Yismaya if you will lead us in prayer this very early morning, um, please, with prayer. And those of you listening in, we used to do it at 4 o'clock hour, but you know, um, now we're on the 5 o'clock hour because we just strategize and we have our strategy where we don't have to give and take this hour. We leave it where it is. We just, we, our, so our bodies are not affected. We were calling this the four o'clock class just a couple of days ago. And now we're calling it the five o'clock class. But we're still getting up at the same time. We're just looking at our clocks now. And now we're in the five o'clock hour. So it's still very early in the morning. And King Yismaya, will you lead us with prayer this very early morning? Okay, Royal Family, let us clear our heads and concentrate on Yodi Wazi and Yodi Wazi, Bait Nun Sophie, Yodi Wazi, come with God us out of darkness and into his most marvelous light. As we stand towards the east with our arms spread from whence we came, let us begin. O Yodi Wazi, God of our salvation. Save us and gather us together and deliver us from the heathen so that 
we may give thanks unto thy holy name and glory unto thy praise. Be. Blessed be thy holy name, O Yodewabe and Israel forever. O Yodewabe, let them be confounded that persecute us. But let not us be confounded. Let our enemies be dismayed, but let not us be dismayed. Bring upon our enemies a day of evil and destroy them with a double destruction. O Yodewabe, forgive our fathers for breaking your laws. And please forgive us for breaking your laws. And help us to never bring shame upon thy great name, nor reproach against our works. For surely we have turned ourselves unto thee, O Yodewabe, trying to be upright. And as we confess our faults, please grant us protection against all our faults. And cleanse us of our secret faults. And guide us into the best of morals. For surely our prayers our sacrifices, our lives, and our deaths are all for thee, O Yodewabe. Selah. Selah. Alenu. Sabachimayim. Ikada. Salmerikar. Tarbo. Ma Kutekar. Yorase. Rajonkar. Kabachimayim. Kainbare. Elukim. Kuganu. Kainlanu. Hayon. Ushaklanu. All the children, him up so with him, the monot nu, lago temla nu, vero, tebenu, liade, nisayom, him, kase nu, mihara, geloka, hamum maha, the hagevara, the hatetlet, the only name, olamim, seva. And we thank thee, O Heavenly Father, your Iguabe, our eternal and everlasting King, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us. Barak Hashem Yireh Wabe. Barak Hashem Yireh Wabe. Barak Hashem Yireh Wabe. Blessed be thy holy name. And we thank thee, O Heavenly Father Yireh Wabe, for sending down the Spirit of Truth, whom you sent among us to speak the truth, your most humble servant. Yireh Wabe, that no so feet Yireh Wabe, whom of God is out of darkness, and into his most marvelous light. And we ask thee, O Heavenly Father Yireh Wabe, so please bless your Wabi back now so keep your Wabi and the nation of your Wabi to be strong, to carry on, to do thy will and only thy will that you will have us to do. For we're all for one and one for all. For what I want for myself, I want for my Hebrew brothers and sisters as well. If I had a bowl of soup, my Hebrew brothers and sisters, may I have a bowl of soup and anything else for our motto is. One God, you're a Wabe, one mind, you're a Wabe, one love, you're a Wabe, and one action, you're a Wabe. And let everything that has breath, the rock of shame, you're a Wabe, the rock of shame, you're a Wabe, the rock of shame, you're a Wabe. And please bless, you're a Wabe, bet no one so keep you're a Wabe, the Messiah, say la. Praise you, hey Wabe, and praise you, hey Wabe, bet no one so keep you're a Wabe, the Messiah, say la. Yes, praise you, hey, Wav, hey, and praise you, hey, Wav, hey, bait noon, Sophie, you, hey, Wav, hey. All right, royal family, we are going to begin our Bible study, and today we are going to be reading from the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 22. All right, and so uh, at sundown, we do get a new scripture that will come in, and that would be, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. But today, we're going to be reading from the book of Ezekiel. Now, we like to start our class with the introduction to the book. And we do that because there is a lot of information that you can gain from reading the introduction to the book that you're reading. There's 66 books and a lot of publishers do put an introduction there. We know that this Bible is written cryptically which means there's hidden messages, hidden codes, symbolism all throughout. And so the understanding can be challenging. We know this written in at least nine different ways. And you'd have to really be able to um, understand how it's written in order to get a good understanding. And so the introduction is helpful. And the 10 step study method is what is going to help us to really get that understanding and to um, allow us to receive the message from our father. All right. So we're going to be reading from the book of 
Ezekiel, which is in the Old Testament. And our father, Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, taught us that the New Testament is our true history. The so-called black man here in America, this is our true history. It's all about Israel. And we are the Israel of the Bible. And we were the ones that were brought here, carried here on ships, and brought into that strange land and would be afflicted for 400 years. That is who we are. We're the tribe of Judah. And there are 11 other tribes. There are 12 tribes. And so this is all about us. And so this is Ezekiel. And this is in the Old Testament. And so we're going to read from the introduction here. And I'm going to read from an authorized version of the King James Version of the Bible that was made specifically for the Hebrew Israelites by the Temple of Love Publishers out of Miami, Florida, many years ago. Now, your introduction will read differently. However, whatever you get from the reading of your introduction will still be beneficial. It will help you to get the understanding that you need of that background knowledge. Oftentimes, you'll even get the author who wrote the book um, or authors. You might get the theme, the purpose. You might even get an outline. And so it's really good to read. Sometimes I read several, and I, not sometimes, I always read several introductions to get some clarity before I begin the reading. All right, so this is the book of Ezekiel. Name. The book has always been identified by the name of Ezekiel, meaning God, Yudhe strengthens. The messages and content reflect the life and ministry of this outstanding prophet, author. Ezekiel is traditionally identified as the author of this volume. He was born in Judah in the days of Josiah and taken into Babylonian captivity in 597 BC. In 593, at the age of 30, he was called to the prophetic ministry as a member of the exilic community in the environs of Babylon Ezekiel warned his people about the impending doom of Jerusalem to temper their hopes for an immediate return after 586 this is BC his message was centered on future hopes for Israel. Theme and content. Ezekiel's impressive call, as recorded in his opening chapter, made him conscious of the presence of God Yudhe in the midst of a heathen environment. Commissioned as a watchman, Ezekiel discharged his responsibility by warning, and it has Jews here, we'll say Hebrews, by warning the Hebrews in captivity that Jerusalem was doomed for destruction. Until 586, Ezekiel, in numerous ways, tried to convince the Hebrews that the sinfulness of Judah had reached the point of God, yud Wave's judgment. That's chapters 1 through 24. When the news reached Ezekiel in 586 that Jerusalem had fallen, Ezekiel was recommissioned to proclaim a message of hope and restoration. Beginning with chapter 34, with God Yudhe Wafe as the great shepherd of Israel. He develops the national hopes for restoration. The nation of Israel is assumed, uh, 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 the nation of Israel is assured of revival, survivor, survival, and assaulting enemies, and return to the land of Palestine with the glory of God Yudhe returning to the temple in Jerusalem. Here's the outline for the book of Ezekiel. 
1. Ezekiel commissioned as a watchman. That's chapter 1, verse 1 through 3, verse 27. 2. Jerusalem doomed. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's chapter 4, verse 1 through 7, verse 27. 3. God, you take by face glory, leaves the temple. That's chapter 8, verse 1 through 11, verse 25. 4. Condemnation of the leaders. That's chapter 12, verse 1 through 15, verse 8. 5. Condemnation of the people. That's chapter 16, verse 1 through 19, verse 14. 6. The last full measure. The last full measure. That's chapter 20, verse 1 through 24, verse 27. That's what we'll be reading from. We'll be reading in chapter 22. 7. Prophecies against foreign nations. That's chapter 25, verse 1 through 32, verse 32. 8. Restoration hopes. This is chapter 33, verse 1 through 39, verse 29. 9. The state of Israel restored. And we don't mean the state that they have there now that they set up in 1948. We mean the condition of Israel. This is what we're speaking of, the condition. So it says the state of Israel restored. And that's chapter 40, verse 1 through 48, verse 35. Ezekiel has 48 chapters, 1,273 verses, and 39,407 words. And that concludes the reading of the introduction. And so it's really good to gather that information. I'm sure that you've gained some information from there that you may not have gathered on your own. And when we're reading this, understand we're speaking about our people. We're speaking about Judah. We're speaking about the, um, the tribes, the 12 tribes of Israel. We're speaking about our true history, which also is, was prophetic. Ezekiel was a prophet, okay? And he also prophesied outside of Judah. And so he spoke to other nations. So when we read this, we look at this as our true history, but we also will see how it parallels to what we're going through today. History often repeats itself. And this is what we're doing. So we have to know how to read this on a higher spiritual level. And so that's what this 10 step study will help us to do. I'm going to go on and read. We know we're speaking of Jerusalem. We're speaking about, you look at the middle term, you also see the, the letters USA. So we're right here. In USA, New Jerusalem. So this is all about us also today. Remember, it's prophetic. All right. In this book, I'm moving into now the Hebrew Greek Key Study Bible. And this chapter, chapter 22, is entitled, The Sins of Jerusalem. 22, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yudhe came unto me, saying, now, son of man, wilt thou judge, wilt thou judge the bloody city? Yea, thou shalt show her all her abominations. Then say thou, thus saith the Lord, Yudhe God, the city sheddeth blood in the midst of it, that her time may come and maketh idols against herself to defile herself. Thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed and hath defiled thyself in thine idols which thou hast made. And thou hast caused thy days to draw near and art come even unto thy years. Therefore have I made thee a reproach unto the heathen and a mocking to all countries. Those that be near and those that be far from thee shall mock thee, which art infamous and much vexed. Behold, the princes of Israel, every one were in thee to their power to shed blood. Verse 7. 
In thee have they set light by father and mother. In the midst of thee have they dealt by oppression with the stranger. In thee have they vexed the fatherless and the widow. Thou hast despised mine holy things and hast profaned my Sabbaths. In thee are men that carry tales to shed blood, and in thee they eat upon the mountains. In the midst of thee they commit lewdness. In thee have they discovered their father's nakedness. In thee have they humbled her that was set apart for pollution. And one hath committed abomination with his neighbor's wife, and another hath lewdly defiled his daughter-in-law, and another in thee hath humbled his sister, his father's daughter. In thee have they taken gifts to shed blood. Thou hast taken usury and increase, and thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbor by extortion, and hast forgotten me, saith the Lord God, Yudhe Behold, therefore, I have smitten mine hand at thy dishonest gain, which thou hast made, and at thy blood, which hath been in the midst of thee. Verse 14. Can thine heart endure, or can thine hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee? I, the Lord Yudhe have spoken it, and will do it. And I will scatter thee among the heathen and disperse thee in the countries and will consume thy filthiness out of thee. And thou shalt take thine inheritance in thyself in the sight of the heathen. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yudhe and the word of the Lord Yudhe came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is to become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God Yudhe because Ye all become dross, because, behold, therefore, I had to look up again. I'm going to start at verse 19. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Yudhe because ye all are become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Verse 21, yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I, the Lord, Yudhe have poured out my fury upon you. And the word of the Lord, Yudhe came unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto her, Thou art the land that is not cleansed nor reigned upon in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a roaring lion ravening the prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy 
and profane. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths and I am profaned among them. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. Verse 28. And her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar, seeing vanity and divining lies unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord God Yudhewafe, when the Lord Yudhewafe hath not spoken. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy, yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it. But I found none. <clears throat> Verse 31. Therefore have I poured out mine indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord God, Yudhewafe. All right. Praise Yudhewafe. Praise Yudhewafe. Beit Nun Sophie Yudhewafe. That completes the reading of Ezekiel chapter 2. All right, and so now, royal family, we're going to move into the 10-step scale. Now, royal family, if you don't have this 10-step scale, you can have it today just by visiting our website at www.yahweh144000.com. That's www.yahweh144000.com. Visit, visit, visit us there and you can order the solar calendar for 6024. Now, when you get there, you'll see the calendar. Understand when you do get the calendar that our day begins at sundown. So our new day will come in at sundown. We'll be on the seventh day of Abib. We will be entering into the Shabbat, our seventh day rest. And also on that day, on the days on our solar calendar, you will also get the scriptures, the chapter reading for the day so that you can be on the same page with our studies. Now, at the end of the calendar, the back of the 12 months, we have 12 months of 30 days. And then we have five more days to complete the 365 days of the year. After that, you will see the 10 step scale. OK, and so there you'll have the 10 step scale, you have the daily scriptures and you have the dates coming in at sundown. Also on that calendar on the front page, you'll also see our high holy days for the year. So we certainly encourage you to download that so that you can stay on solar time now, understanding what day we are today on the Gregorian calendar is the 15th of March. Today on our solar calendar, we're on a bib six. However, at sundown, we'll be on the seventh day of a bib. All right. And so we're going to now also on that site, you can also download books by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit and Sophie Yudhe Wafe, or you can purchase the book to come to you. Also, we have um, books also written by some family members. We know we have to study our holy Hebrew name. So we have books up there to help you to do that as well. And we also have our um, products for hair care and skin care. And we also have the elderberry syrup and we're um, constantly adding more things. So always visit us, check us to see what else we have. Check us on a daily basis. If you need to listen to some of the audios that you haven't, that are not on YouTube, some of those audios are the, up there as well. If you need a spiritual home, we welcome you, invite you to join us. Here's where you can also help in the support of our growth. Anything that you purchase on the site goes to the building of our holy Hebrew nation <coughs> of yud heh -Wav -Heh. You also can send your support in the form of tithes, donations, and offerings, and be in keeping with Malachi 3, 6 through 10. We certainly invite you, if you're enjoying the studies here, if you want to join 
in this continuation of the works of our Father, then we certainly invite you. Email us today so that we can show you how to support and how to be a part of this movement. Praise you, Tewafe. Praise you, Tewafe. Beit Nun Sofit, you, Tewafe. Now for the 10-step scale. We're going to start off with step number 10, which says Bible, wisdom, Proverbs 4, 7. All right, so we know that the Bible is our first line of defense. It's step one. Proverbs 4, 7 reads, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So there you see that understanding goes hand in hand with the wisdom. And so this is why we'll utilize this 10-step scale. Because if you have the wisdom without the understanding, you have this book of wisdom, but you don't understand it, you can still break the laws. And you can still be cursed. And we don't want to be cursed anymore. We've been cursed for quite a long time for breaking the laws. The Old Testament is our true history. You can read all about Israel's blessings and curses. And that's all the way up to the time when Messiah comes to let us know how to stop receiving the curses and to receive the blessings, to stop eating from the tree of good and evil. That tree is on its way out. Our father gave that tree a sentence of 6,000 years. So Satan had 6,000 years to rule after the killing of Cain killed his brother Abel. That sentence was placed on them to see if they could do well within that time frame. And our father told them that if he could not do well, then his rulership would be up. All right, and so this is what's going on right now. His rulership is up. His, his, his system is self-destructing. And so the righteous ruling government is on its way up. Because we are now going to eat from the tree of life and be able to rule ourselves first, govern ourselves in righteousness, and then be able to teach all nations about our Father and how to be blessed. And this is what we're doing. All right. So step number one, again, is that Bible. And we have to locate and select the scripture in the King James Version of the Bible. So we do want you to have the King James Version for this particular study. This, this 10 step scale was designed to go hand in hand with the King James Version. We know there are other versions out there, but for this study, we encourage you to utilize the King James Version. All right, so we have to select a scripture. So the scripture that we're selecting is going to be Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 8. And we'll read that in a moment. Let's move into step number two, which says decode English translation of words with the concordance. Okay, so now we need the Bible and now we also need the concordance. The Old Testament words from which we're reading today is going to take us into the Hebrew dictionary in the back of the concordance. An upright number will be associated with whatever word it is that we're going to study. So we're going to select that English translation. We're going to select the word that's an English translation of the original Hebrew word. So the word that we're going to select today is the word Sabbath. Sabbath. That's the word that we're going to analyze today. Okay? And so now we're going to go back and we're going to reread Ezekiel 22, 8, understanding that we're going to decode the word Sabbath. All right. And it reads, Ezekiel 22, verse 8, Thou hast despised mine holy things and hast profaned my Sabbaths. And so that's the word Sabbath. I know we've discussed this in another class that you may want to go back and listen to Hebrews chapter three and also Hebrews chapter four, power of 10. If you get a chance, go back and take a listen to that because we talk about those Sabbaths there as well, the rest. All right. So that's the word that we're going to break down today. And so we're going to have to now go into the concordance now. The, the Old Testament words are, are in the Hebrew dictionary and the New Testament words are in the Greek dictionary and those are italicized numbers. So be careful when you're doing your study to make sure you know if you're in the Old or New Testament because that's the, the dictionary you'll have to go to um, is based on where you're reading, okay, from the Old Testament or the New. So we're in the Old Testament today. We're in the book of Ezekiel and we're going to be going into the Hebrew concordance with the word Sabbath. Now, how do we do that? Well, the concordance, I'm going to be utilizing the exhaustive Strong's, the, the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. And um, in there, and we know that there are other publishers that do also um, publish concordances. So whichever concordance you have, that's 
which you'll use for your information um, today. Uh, the word is Sabbath. So what you do is you go into your concordance and all the words in the Bible are there and they're alphabetized. So you'll have to go to the S's and find the word Sabbath. And so there are going to be quite a few of them. You want to find the one that's associated with the scripture that you're studying. So we're looking for, we're looking for 22 and 8. Ezekiel 22, 8. Also, it's also found in 22, verse 26 of Ezekiel as well, the word Sabbath. And so Ezekiel will be abbreviated in your concordance. So go scroll through those Sabbaths till you get to Ezekiel, the abbreviation, and 22, 8. <clears throat> and whatever the number is that's associated with it should be an upright number as opposed to italicized. Italicized lets you know you're going into Greek. So your number is going to be upright. And if you do this correctly, you should come up with the number 7676. If you're using the Strong's Exhaustive. Now we know there's a possibility that if you're using a different concordance, it could possibly be a different number, but most times we're all on the same page with the number. But whatever number you have, that's the number you're going to pursue. So we're going to go and pursue 7676. We take this number and now we go into the back. Remember, there are two dictionaries back there. We're going to go to the Hebrew Chaldee Dictionary in the back. It comes before the Greek Dictionary, and the number is 7676. Now, here's where you're going to pray and ask your father for guidance as well right here, because a lot of times when you go into the back, there's a lot of information you have to read through, sift through, and pull out what you need for your understanding of today. We want to find out what the Sabbath means. We know that, the, that there's a Hebrew word for it, Shabbat, and we want to know what it means. In Hebrew, and Hebrew is in each aleph bait, each letter in Hebrew is infinite because each letter is an attribute of our Father's divine mind. So this word, when you comprise letters, when you put letters together to comprise a word, this word has so much information that we're going to scratch the surface on it, but we will get a message from our Father today. All right, so we're going to go to 7676 in the Hebrew dictionary in the back, and from there you'll see that the word is Shabbat. That's why we say our Shabbat study. And it, it says it's from 7673. So we record that in our notes, 7673. We'll go to that in step three. Okay, but it says it means intermission. It says the Sabbath with a capital S. We know this is the Sabbath of our Father. Okay, it's got a capital S there. And so it's telling us, and it also says every, every Sabbath. All right, so that's what we got out of there. Not a lot, really when a lot of times you'll get more information. So what we will do now is go into the other number, 7673. And there we'll pursue that. And step three says, gather additional original information. Pursue the roots and other Hebrew or Greek words numerically denoted as the definition indicates. So that's why we're now going to pursue 7673. We're going to pursue that root that it's from. All right. So now this is also an upright number. There's a lot more information here in 7673. I read through it and I pulled out what was needed for today's class for the understanding that I needed. All right. All right. So 7673, upright number, Hebrew, it means to repose, to desist from exertion, cause to, or let, or make to cease. Then it says, celebrate. It says, keep Sabbath. Make to rest. Rid. Still. Take away. Put away. Put down. These are the words that we're getting from the number 7673 that could be further studied to get more clarity. All right. Now, we're going to move into Step number four. Step number four says consult the lexicon for greater latitude on the original information. The numbers are identical to the concordance numbers. Okay, so here's where we take these same two numbers and we move into another study tool, the lexicon. Now there are two lexicons, one for the Old Testament, which is the Hebrew Chaldee lexicon, and one for the New Testament, which is the Greek English lexicon. There are several publishers of lexicons as well, but you will need the lexicon for this study. There are some online tools that you can use if you need, but we also encourage you to get these physical books because if the internet goes down, you still want to be able to study. We study every day. 
and we open this Bible every day and we utilize this 10 step scale on a daily basis. All right, so you need the lexicons. They look similar to the ones that I have, so be careful to make sure that you're going into the correct one. We want the Hebrew Chaldee one, and I use Jacinius, that Hebrew Chaldee lexicon published by Jacinius. All right, and I go for the same number, 7676, because it's identical. And when I get there, it says Sabbath, the seventh day of the week. That's what I got from 7676. So now I'm going to move into 76. 73. A little bit more information in there that I'm pulling out. It says to rest, to keep as a day of rest, to sit. Then it even talks about the sabbatical year, which is every seventh year in which the land was not tilled. So it gave even the land rest in the sabbatical year. To cease, desist, leave off. To celebrate the Sabbath, to cause to rest, to interrupt, to restrain, to still, to put an end to, to remove, to take away. These are the definitions and understanding that I got from 7673. All right. So now let's move into step number five. It says define Hebrew and or Greek definitions. We'll be doing the Hebrew definitions, defining the Hebrew definitions of the original word or words selected in step one by use of the dictionaries. Okay, so here we're going to be defining these definitions. So we're just going to take one of the words that we'll define from the definitions. There are plenty of them, but we're going to just choose one for the sake of time right here on this class. And we're going to take one of the, one of the words and we're going to put it through... Um, the dictionaries. We're going to take it to the dictionaries and see the meaning of that particular word from the, one of the definitions or one of the words that we've studied. So we're going to take the word keep because we have to, it says, it said in 7673, keep the Sabbath. Okay, so we want to look at the word keep because we found out that there, there is a rest in, in, of our Father that a lot of people are not going to enter in because of unbelief. We found that out in Hebrews 3. And also in Hebrews 4. And so we want, to we want to keep the Sabbath. And so let's find out what the word keep means because that's a commandment for, for us. We have to keep it. So let's find out what does keep mean. Let's go to the American heritage with this. Keep from the American heritage <clears throat> means to retain possession of, to preserve, to cause, to continue to do by means which one is supported. So we have to continue to do this. We have to preserve it. We have to retain it for our possession. There is a day that belongs to us, that our Father has given us, and we have to preserve that day. Let's go to Merriam-Webster's and see what it has to say about the word keep. It says to take notice of by appropriate conduct. So there's appropriate conduct. You see in the scriptures here in chapter, in chapter 22, verse uh, 8, it had been profaned. It had been abused. And so we have to have the proper conduct, okay? It had even been dissolved from the correct day. It's been profaned, and so we need to keep it. So we have to have that appropriate conduct when we enter into the rest. It says fulfill, to be faithful to, to act fittingly in relation to, and then it has in a parentheses, the Sabbath. This is out of Merriam-Webster's. It says to conform to in habits or conduct. It says to stay in accord with, and in parentheses, it has time. Thought that that was interesting. <clears throat> so we have to have the correct time in order to enter in. It says preserve, maintain, to watch over and defend. See, this is our job to defend the correct 
time of the Sabbath. Tend to continue to maintain. Cause to remain in a given place, situation, or condition. It says to restrain from departure or removal. See, we must not be removed from this rest. To retain in one's possession or power. This is from the word keep. To confine oneself to. To stay or continue. Conduct. Manage. To maintain a course direction or progress. So you want to stay on that course and direction that our Father is giving us. It says to persist in practice. Stay. Remain. This is from key. To remain in good condition. See, when you eat from the tree of life, you remain in good condition. You are in the rest when you're in that tree of life. Resting from the evils of this world. Resting from the cares of this world. Resting from the teachings and the doctrines of the tree of good and evil. We have to rest from all of this. And we do that by entering into the rest, the tree of life. The divine mind of Yudhiwafi. It's just to remain in good condition. That's the only way to do it. In good condition. See, the other tree is good and evil. The tree of life is only good. It says, one that keeps or protects. See, that tree of life will keep and protect you. It's that strong tower. The next word is fortress. And it says permanently. See, this is forever. It's permanent. Once you enter into the correct rest, you want that to be permanent for you. You don't want to be removed. It says with results of ending the matter. See, we want to end the matter of eating from the tree of good and evil, which causes death. We don't want that anymore. We want to end that matter by entering into and keeping permanently the protection that comes <clears throat> from eating from the tree of life and receiving the correct rest. All right, let's move into step number six. Step number six says, consult several dictionaries and compare. Include Bible dictionary and Bible interpreters dictionaries. Okay, so here we're going to move into the um, Vines, which is a dictionary, expository dictionary of Bible words. I'm going to move there. I'm going to use the same number, 7676. And I'm going to go to the index to see what word they have for that number. A lot of times they don't have the same word you're studying, but then they, they have the information that goes along with that word, but they're calling it a different word, a synonym. But actually, Sabbath was under 7676 in the vines. There was a lot of information, and I pulled out some information for today. Of course, you can always go back and do further research in your Bible dictionaries and Bible interpreters dictionaries. Sabbath from 7676 said Sabbath. It says to cease. It says rest, referring to the seventh day of rest. It says uh, con consecrated by God, Yudhe at the time of creation. See, on the seventh day, he took rest. That's all that he created and made. It said in the Mosaic law, covenant as a binding period of mandatory rest from labor. In the Mosaic law, Moses' law, that Yahweh gave Moses. Moses didn't come up with his own law. So we know it says Mosaic law, we know it's the law of Yudhe Wafe. All right. In a redemptive historical sense, the Sabbath day anticipated Israel's rest in the land of Canaan, <clears throat> excuse me, and ultimately the heavenly rest of the believer. All right. And so this is all about Israel's rest. It was in the land of Canaan. Today, we're in this land. We're in New Jerusalem. And so this is the land for us today. And we need to rest from the ways of this land. Now, right here, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to put on an audio clip from the 
Honorable Yud He Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yud He Wafe, and he is going to clear up some matters on this audio. You are going to hear um, it's an interview. It's an interview. He's being interviewed, and he's going to be asked about the Sabbath. Okay, and so the interviewer is asking, you know, he, he says, because it may not be as clear on this part, so he says, I heard of Sabbath on Sunday, and I've heard it on Saturday, Friday, but I've never heard it on a Monday. And see, at the time of this audio, which was 1986 on the Gregorian calendar, the Sabbath was on, came in on, the seventh day came in on a Monday. And so just like we are now in the year 6024, and on the Gregorian calendar 2021, our Sabbath is once again on a Monday. And so there's a lot of um, dispute about this Sabbath, the seventh day and the, the weekdays um, being different each year. So I want you to hear from our father himself, letting you know that each year, a different day of the week gets to be the Sabbath. So back in 1986, it was on Monday. Then he says in 87, Tuesday, then Wednesday. And so that's how it goes. And so I want you to hear it so you understand we are now in this, in their year 2021, in our year 6024, back on Monday evening, this evening. It'll be our, our first Shabbat of the 6024 year, according to solar time. So listen in to him and I'll be right back as I set up this microphone so you can hear it. Okay, here we go. Why do you have a Sabbath on a Monday? I mean, I know it's a Saturday and Sunday, but I've never heard of Sabbath, Sabbath? Sabbath on Monday. Right. Uh, it will rotate in perfection for every day of the week. For example, in 1987, it will be on Tuesday. Oh. And in 88, on Wednesday. It goes in a cycle of perfect sevens because we observe solar time. Yahweh gave uh, his own calendar and his own time, which is perfect. All men, regardless of their timepiece, have to synchronize it with solar time, which the sun, not the moon, is the basis of time. Is this out of scripture? Oh, of course. In Genesis chapter 1, uh, Yahweh gave uh, the great light, the sun, as the ruler of the day and night. That's where you get your seventh. Indeed, seventh day as opposed to seventh name. Uh, seventh the, and not Sabbath. And not Sabbath. Yahweh gave us the order of seventh day. And he said that uh, our keeping the seventh day holy mm -hmm. is is the sign between he and his chosen people as opposed to worshiping a named day. How did it get off? The scriptures also teach that. It says that those who are in opposition to Yahweh uh, change the seasons and the times. And uh, Lucifer, by the way, who was black, mm -hmm. uh, set himself in opposition to Yahweh and uh, wanted to be in the place of Yahweh. He, he wanted to be worshiped as Yahweh was worshipped. He thought himself handsome and beautiful. And he was referred to in one scripture as a bright and a bright star of heaven. And so he changed the seasons and the times for that purpose so that he could be worshipped. And knowing that in the end time, the way to deceive the people of the earth, all the moral people of the earth, away from salvation, uh, give them a false time so they would be out of sync. And that would bring about their destruction. It would be impossible for the moral people of the earth to keep the accurate law of, of the Sabbath and not know the time. So I'm here restoring time. Praise you, hey, Wafe. Praise you, hey, Wafe. Beit Noon Sophie, you, hey, Wafe. I hope that that was clear to you. I uh, put up a five minute audio yesterday on the YouTube if you wanted to hear that just by itself. This is. Um, you can find this as well on uh, YouTube under the time interview. All right. So that's where you can find it. But right there, he says he is restoring time. And you heard him, hopefully, that, you know, every day gets its chance to be in there. And so this 
It's our job now to protect it and keep it, preserve it at all costs. This is our day of rest. So you see, you can look out in the world and you can see the different times that other people are doing. Some even saying that they are followers of Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, but they are not following the, what he said right here. They may be keeping it on Friday, Saturday. And so we're putting this out in hopes that our people will consider this rest right here. He said there are opposers to Yahweh that set this up. And so we don't want to oppose him. We don't want to be in line for those curses. We want to do this correctly. Well, family, we hope that you consider doing and not profaning his Sabbath. He won't let you come in to his rest to profane it. As a matter of fact, he'll allow you to stay out there and do whatever day you're deciding to do. And you won't enter into his rest because in his rest, there's going to be harmony and peace and where everybody's going to be on in accord with the time. So praise you, Tehwafi. Just wanted to share that with you. And now we're going to move into step number seven. Step number seven says define Hebrew and or Greek definitions of the original word selected in step one by use of the synonym finder. Now the original word was Sabbath. And so now we're defining those definitions with the synonym finder. So one of the words again is keep. We're going to go back into the word keep and we're going to utilize the J. I. Rodell synonym finder for this. You know, there are many synonym finders and whichever ones you have is going to be what you'll utilize. And you also can put a thesaurus in right here. You can go to the thesaurus as well. You can go to online sources as well. Whatever you need. Whatever will give you that understanding, that's what's key here. So I'm going to the J.I. Rodell, and there were many, many synonyms. I'm going to pull out several, uh, but there's more. You can go back and look and see what was left on the table. The word keep from the J.I. Rodell. Maintain. Carry on. See, we have to carry this on. We heard him say this in 1986, and if you work it up from 1986 all the way to 2021, you're going to be on Monday. And that's where we are today in the 6,024th year. We're on the Monday. We don't honor Monday. We honor the seventh day, but the name day of the week is Monday. So our Sabbath comes in this evening. It'll be Monday evening. And our Sabbath, the first one for 6,024 comes in. So if you're calculating correctly, this is, will be, that'll be the seventh day this evening. And then our Passover celebration begins on the 14th day. Now you know how to calculate. It's all on one calendar. You don't need two different um, calendars. Some people have a, a different calendar. Say they just stay on this rotating seven days and then they have the solar calendar. And this is all on one. He was speaking on the solar calendar. He wasn't speaking on um, another type of a calendar. Uh, he was speaking on one calendar, solar time. You can get it all on the same calendar. The first day begins and then you can count the seventh day from it. So praise you, Tehwafe, praise you, Tehwafe, Beit Nun Sophie, Tehwafe, keep from the J. I. Rodell again. It says to carry on, to continue. So we're continuing to stay with it. It says stay with. We're staying with what he said. Proceed, persist, persevere. Hold on to. We've got to hold on to this day of the seventh day. We have to hold on to how to calculate it. You calculate the seventh day from knowing the first day. How do you know the first day after the 365th day of the last year? Then the next sundown is the first day. That's how you calculate it. You have 12 months of 30 days. That equals 360. And then you have five more days, 361, 362, 363, 364, 365. From sundown to sundown, the next day is a bib one. That's how you count it. It's really simple. And we have to hold on to that. We have to sustain it. Abide, it says. Endure. Last. It says be steadfast and stand. See, we have to stand for what is correct. When you read the book, The Royal Priesthood, you'll find that the 144,000, the royal priesthood, they're accurate. They're correct. They're meticulous. 
They're exact. And that's what we are working on, being exact, meticulous. And we do that by entering the rest and understanding and keeping the ways of our Father. It says keep alive, secure, embrace. We have to embrace this information. Don't discard it and say, "Mm, well, that was back then. There's another audio out there that says forever, forever, you know, and he tells you that he tells you that it, 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 it's a cycle and this is the way it goes forever. That's the law of you. Hey, why, hey, why? I believe it's part two and you can find it right on our YouTube page and you'll hear him. You'll go through it and he will say forever. It's, I believe it's uh, I know it's the law of you. Hey, why, hey, uh, Yahweh, why? I do believe it's part two. I know it's not part one, but it might be part two or three, but I I think it's part two. And you'll hear him. If you listen long enough, you'll hear him go through it. And it's forever. (laughs) Okay. Maintain. So I don't know how you get rid of forever and and change it and do it. But he says the opposers of Yahweh. That's how it's done. Because there's opposition to Yahweh's laws and ways. And that's what happened. Satan was bright, a bright star. And also wanted to be worshipped. And this is what he said. And so he changed it. He said he changed the seasons and he changed uh, the days, the calendar. Okay, so we have to be careful and we have to be mindful and we have to listen to what he says and we have to maintain it. Keep it alive. Embrace it. And that's what we're doing here. Support. Uphold. Be responsible for. Mind. Take care of. Defend. Safeguard it, shield it, observe, obey, abide by, comply with. This is all from the word keep. It says comply with, submit to, conform. So we have to conform to it. It says uh, be regulated by mind. Heed, pay attention, acknowledge, respect, follow. Observe, celebrate. So we have to observe it. We have to follow it. We just heard him say that each year, you know, gets to be it's cha- the name day gets to be the Sabbath, the Sabbath day. That means each day gets to be a holy day. We heard him say that. So we need to follow. We don't need to be in opposition to what he says. I know it might be painful because a lot of you are um, are doing it incorrectly. And now you have to, you know, decide this is judgment day. So, yes, it's your judgment. You decide what you like to do. Do you want to be in opposition to what you heard him say? That is your choice. Understand the consequences come along with it. It says that we have to observe it, follow it, and celebrate it. So we will be honoring, observing it this evening at sundown, seventh day. If you want to join us, go on and email us at wwwyahweh one four four zero 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 dot com and we will do our best to get those emails out to you with the information on how to join us. If you want to know the scripture readings for this evening, visit the website. The scriptures are already there for the closing of week one. You'll be reading, you know, we we get a chance to read the the whole Torah. In 52 weeks, our Father has given us a way to read the Torah, the first five books. So Genesis 1 through 4 are are the readings for this week. So you want to get those readings done. Genesis chapter 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we have some foundation scriptures as well. Go to our website and pick those up. And then you can still be um, reading those scriptures for Shabbat. All right. But if you want to join our class, email us. All right. We're going to move into step number eight. Step number eight says return to the original scripture in the Bible and read it with a new understanding. Okay. The information that we've gathered should help you to be able to read this scripture now with new understanding. And so we're going to go back and we, oops, I just lost the page, but that's okay. I have it written down here. We're going to read it with new understanding. It says, thou hast despised mine holy things and hath profaned my Sabbaths. Okay, so we don't want to profane his Sabbaths. Israel was commanded by yud heh wah to keep the Sabbath, you know, preserve it, protect it. Without the teachings of yud heh wah Beit Nun Sophie yud heh wah it would be challenging 
to know when and how to keep it. You just heard him say, so now you know. How it's Monday, this evening, Monday, the seventh day. So now you can keep it. You heard his, te- his teachings. We keep it according to solar time. We're now in 6024. This is the, and sundown is going to be the seventh day of the six of 6024th year. Just the seventh day. This is our new year. There are 365 days. You can count 365 days, sundown to sundown, and you will then, the next day will be a bib one. It's a day of rest. The seventh day is a day of rest from labors and ultimately the heavenly rest found in the comfort of the divine mind of Yudhe the tree of life. Once we enter this rest, we must defend this rest, safeguard it, and embrace it. This year of 6024, our seventh day, comes in again on Monday evening. And there'll be 52 of these seven days. There's 365 days <clears throat> in a year. And seven goes in there 52 times. So we'll have 52 weeks. We must continue in his teachings. Many will not enter in due to unbelief and opposition. Those of us who observe and celebrate this information and keep the seventh day holy, we keep it holy, we honor it, we respect his teachings, and we're happy to now be able to enter in to his rest and not profane this day. Praise you, Tehwafe. Praise you, Tehwafe. Beit Nun Sophie, you, Tehwafe. All right, now we're ready to move into step number nine. Step number nine says, search the scriptures. That's John 5, 39. Look for helpful course references in several Bibles. Crack the codes with the new found information. So here's where you need a Bible that has the course references. We're going to look for helpful course references. And even though you didn't study that particular verse, you'll get an, you'll have an understanding because you studied perhaps a word that's connected and related to that particular verse. So you want to have the course references. Now the course references in my Bible come down the middle margin. Some Bibles, they may come along the sides of the pages or even on the bottom. But there are some Bibles that don't have course references. And so for this particular study, you really do want those course references. You don't want to have a misstep right here. You want to be able to follow this pattern, this 10-step study pattern, this scale. All right, so let's go to let's go to Leviticus 19 and 30. This is a cross reference for it, one of the cross references, Leviticus 19:30, and it reads, "Ye shall keep my sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary, I am the Lord, Yud, Hey, Wav, Hey. Now here, this book of Leviticus gives you a lot of the law. This is the Old Testament. The first five books are, found, uh, the, are the Torah and it's the law. And it says again that you shall keep his Sabbath, okay? His, and he tells you when. He just told you when it is. So you want to keep it. This year, it's Monday. You want to protect it, preserve it. People may call you and say, why are you doing it this way? Just like the interviewer. He wants to know, why is it? Our father said, because we keep solar time. He said, everyone has to uh, recognize it and keep up with this solar time. And they, you know, they do whatever they have to do to, uh, you know, recalibrate with solar time. And this is, he's the sun and he's giving it to you. Okay, he's telling us when it is he just did. If you believe that Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nu Sophie, Yudhe Wafe is who he is, the sun, sun and solar, <laughs> he is the sun on a spiritual level. He's the sun that we need. He's the sun that you want to calibrate with. He's the one that you want to get on the right track with. 
He's the one that you want to guide. Don't go along with others who are profaning his Sabbath. If they are not keeping the Sabbath according to solar time, the information that they're giving you is of another tree. It's not what he's just said. So we have the perfect example before us. And so it's really a choice that we each have to make. We've all been out of the rest. We've all done different days, you know, before we came into the knowledge of Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nusofi Yudhe Wafe. And now we can get right. It's your choice. We certainly invite you to join us. All right, let's move into step number 10. It says, keep an open mind. And now you got to keep your, the openness of your mind. You've got to preserve it. You've got to safeguard it. You've got to shield and defend this open mind. It's open now and you're on the path. You have the information. You want to embrace it. It says, keep this open mind. Keep it open. You know, you want your mind to be unobstructed and uncluttered by the cares of this world. You want to be able to enter into this rest. You want to attain, reach, and access this divine mind. And you do that by keeping it open. Now you do have to shut it down to the ways of this world and the information that's coming from the tree of good and evil. You want to be impenetrable to that information. You want to be impermeable to that information. You don't want it to creep in. You have to preserve it now, protect it, shield it. Follow our father, enter into his rest. That's where your protection is. Okay. And you can use any given tool at any given time. If necessary, these tools that we use here, that's what you need. We don't need a gun for this. We need to preserve and protect utilizing these tools tools, these study tools. The Bible is your first line of defense. We don't need a gun for this. No, this is a spiritual battle. This is a war going on in your head, possibly right now about this information. I know I had to go through it too. It was a battle. I chose to follow my father, what I heard him say, not what I heard somebody else say, or somebody heard what they heard, what they heard somebody else say. No, I can hear him myself. And so I chose to follow along with him. Use the, now if you don't, (laughs) then, you know, that battle is going to get worse for you. All right. But that's up to you again. Use these tools. This is what we got. We don't need a gun because if you had a gun and you were utilizing a gun, the first person you'd have to take out is yourself because Satan resides there too. And that's the job to get them out. But we don't want to use a gun to get them out. We don't, we're not trying to leave this physical body like not right now. I don't think. So we're utilizing these tools. We want eternal life. Use these tools. Let you guide you. Always pray. Ask for his guidance. Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nusofi Yudhe Wafe comes in the volume of the book. Now that's Hebrews. Chapter 10, verse 7. That's Psalm chapter 40, verse 7. And that's really good to know that he's in the volume of the book because that means no matter what book you're reading from out of the 66 books, he's in there. No matter what chapter you've selected to read or if you decide to follow the schedule that's on the solar calendar, which we do hope you download, he's in that chapter, no matter which one you're reading from. He is the verse that you've selected. He is the the word that you've selected to study. So praise Yudhe Wafe, praise Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe. I hope that this information has been beneficial to you. I, I pray that you can make the correct decision. We certainly invite you to join us. We welcome you with open arms if you're wanting to do good. We want you to join us if you're ready to join the movement to continue the works of our Father. We're following his instructions. We hope this has been beneficial. We're going to close this out with prayer. Of course, you can continue in your study. Study every day. Pick up this book every day. 
use this 10 step scale every day and understand what day it is every day. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Bait Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe. I'm going to call on uh, King Yismaya. Would you please lead us out with prayer this early morning? Praise Yudhe Wafe. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Bait Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe. Okay, royal family. Let us stand and face the east with our hands spread from which we came. Kepila. Avenu. Sabasamayim, Yikadas, Samarika, Tarbo, Malkuteka, Yarse, Rizankar, Kabasamayim, Kainbaret, Elikim, Kuganu, Kainlanu, Hayon, Oshlaklanu, Al Katarun, Timok Basolikim, Ramanatnu, Lago Tamanu, Vel, Tebenu, Liade, Nisayon, Kim, Kasenu, Mehara, Kilaka, Hamamlaha, Baha Gibra, Baha Tabret, Leolame, Olamim, Sela. And we thank thee, O Heavenly Father, Yudhe Wave, our eternal and everlasting King, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us. And let everything that has breath praise Yudhe Wave, and praise Yudhe Wave, Beit Nun Sufi Yudhe Wave, the Messiah, Sela. Praise Yudhe Wave. Praise you, hey, wav, hey, praise you, hey, wav, hey, bait, noon, Sophie, you, hey, wav, hey, world family, have a glorious day in you, hey, wav, hey, I love you, royal family, shalom, uvraka, which means peace and blessings, royal family, shalom. <music>